Hi, my name is Natasha Wernick and I'm the president of the Ukitopia Arts Collective and the event organiser for the Ukitopia Festival 2009. There's such a great range of um, art, like there's music, there's just like painting, you know, there's, um, there's dancing, there's just so much going on. There was a wide variety of performances including um, solo performances, youth performances, Aboriginal elders and a beautiful reconciliation between Aboriginal elders and the local uh, elders. Um, we also had workshops, youth workshops, music workshops and dance workshops. <laughs> So it was a real chance for all of the people in Yukai with, with all of their gifts and all of their talents to share. And it was just an amazing way to really showcase everything that goes on in Yukai. So take me to your sunny horizons, I'll see. On the main stage we had uh, several uh, very good youth bands ranging from a solo performer to James Higgins who has toured with uh, Jamiroquai Choir through Europe. What did you like most about Yukai Toby Festival? The unity of everyone coming together and just celebrating the whole, you know, like togetherness and everything, it's just great and like all the performances have been excellent. We had maybe about 400 people on the first day of the two day event and probably about a thousand people on the second day. The Images of Yukai Art Exhibition was a space for all different Yukai people from all different levels of um, expertise to exhibit their expressions of what it means to be in Yukai. It was an outstanding exhibition this year and very with, I think there was over a hundred entries um, from very well established artists to the school children. Many people moved down to the uh, historical Anglican church where they were entertained by beautiful, intimate solo performances for the evening. Or they could go to the um, outside main stage where there was uh, three local bands. Finishing off with the DJ, Dancing Under the Stars. Oh, 